So this is 2014 paper one, question one. It's leading cert, higher level maths. So the graph of a cubic function cuts the x-axis at x equals minus three, x equals minus one, and x equals two. So making sure we know they're the roots and the y-axis at 0, minus 6. So we know that point there is minus 6. Verify that f of x can be written as. Well, to get the function, we first change the roots into factors. So bringing or adding 3 to both sides, we'll get the first factor as x plus 3, the next factor x plus 1, the next factor x minus 2. And we multiply these two out slowly, these first two. So x by x is x squared. x by 1 is x. 3 by x is 3x. 3 by 1 is 3. x minus 2. Before I go any further, again, simplify this bracket here. x squared plus 4x plus 3 x minus 2. f of x is equal to x squared by x is x cubed. x squared by minus 2, minus 2x two squared. 4x by x, 4x squared, 4x by minus 2, is minus 8x. 3 by x is plus 3x. Three, 3 by minus 2 is minus 6 f of x equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And that is what we were asked to prove. Now, sometimes when we multiply these out, we'll find that the constant at the end is not the same as the y-intercept. In that case, you want to be very careful. Okay? So yes, that's the first part of the question. That's it done. But if the y-intercept was not the same as our constant, we would then introduce a f of x is equal to a x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And we would take a known point. So in this case, the known point is 0 minus 6. And so being, well, this output here is going to be minus 6 when all of these x's are 0. Okay? And what you'll find is you'd get an equation that might read minus 6 is equal to a times something, whatever this bracket multiplies out to. And we'd find what this value a is. It'll be it'd be something different. It would not be one as it is going to be now. And a ends up being one. So it wouldn't change the function at all if I had a one out the front here. But it might be different. Again, it would be different if that y-intercept is not the same as our constant at the end. But we don't have to worry about that for the time being. So I'm gonna remove all of that and show you what the final answer is. QED because we're showing something what was asked to be demonstrated. The graphs of the function g of x equal to minus 2x minus 6 intersects the graph of the function uh, above. Let f of x equal to g of x and solve the resulting equation to find the coordinates of the points where f of x and g of x intersect. Well, this is a bit like Ronsiel. Do exactly what it says on the tin. Put f of x equal to g of x. So that's x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to minus 2x minus 6. And it's possibly worth noting, what is this? Well, this is a cubic. We know that. But what's this? This is a linear. And what does a linear look like? Well, what word does it contain? The word line. So it's going to look like a line. So we want to solve this equation. So we're going x cubed plus 2x squared 
minus 3x is equal to 0. Okay, well, I have a, a cubic. Now, normally, I would solve a cubic by doing trial and error to find one of the roots. But here, it's worth, worth noting that I could factorize out x. And I have two numbers being multiplied together. This bracket is a number, and this bracket is a number. Two numbers being multiplied together to give zero. That implies that one of them must be zero. So either the first bracket is zero, or the second bracket is zero. So can, can continue to solve that. X, we can use the guide number. The guide number is minus three. Factors are minus three, so it's x squared plus three x minus 1x minus 3 is equal to 0. x, x plus 3. Fourth second bracket will be the same. What's going to be out here? It's minus 1. x minus 1. x plus 3. x is equal to 1. x is equal to minus 3. So I have three answers for x so far. Now, a lot of people will stop there and not get full marks. It says find the coordinates. Okay, so I also need the y value. So yes, they're just the x values. To find the y values, I can either sub it back into g of x, or sub it into the f of x from the first one. They'll give me the same answer at the end because of the points of intersection. So I'm going to sub it into the easiest one. I'm going to sub it into g of x. So g of x minus 2x minus 6. g of 0 minus 2 by 0 minus 6 plus minus 6. g of 1 minus 2 by 1 minus 6 is minus 8. And g of minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 6 is equal to 0. So the points then are 0 minus 6, 1 minus 8, and minus 3, 0. There are the three points. Draw the graph of the function on the diagram. Well, normally we would find two points, so a point on g of x and then another point on g of x, and you do that by just subbing in any x values we want. But we've already found certain points. 0 minus 6, minus 3, 0. 0 minus 6, 0 minus 6, minus 3, 0. Did it say minus 3, 0? No, minus 3. Minus 3, 0. And 1, minus 8. I think that minus, oh, sorry, yeah, minus 3, 0. I was wondering why that was wrong. Minus 3, 0 is not there. Minus 3, 0 is over here. Excuse me. So I have our three points. Join them up. Straight line. And I would continue it either side as well. It's a little bit. It doesn't say in a, any particular domain, I don't think, in a question. No. That's the question done then. Let's look at the marking scheme. So the first question had 15 marks. Next question had five marks, and the next question had five marks. And the breakdown of those, so 15C, what does it mean? 15C means that it went 0, 7, 10, 15. And then 5C is 0, 3, 4, 5. So first question, second question, and third question.